Parents concerned tonight. They say Baldwin County school buses aren't air conditioned. Questions being raised to the superintendent at a board meeting in Baymanet. Ariel Mallory was at that meeting. Ariel, the superintendent says it's a problem they've been working on for a while. Yeah, that's right, Lanise. But what one parent wanted to know was why wasn't he informed? But according to the superintendent, Eddie Tyler, the air con the buses haven't been air conditioned for a while. It was hot last year, it's hot this year, and I guess it's going to be hot next year. But we're going to do our best to uh, elevate uh, the condition of our buses as quickly as we can. Baldwin County Superintendent Eddie Tyler addresses concerns tonight on the 400 plus buses in his school system that don't have AC. Daphne parent Michael Edwards says he became concerned when his daughter came home from school one day noticeably hot. We were not aware that the buses did not have AC and I understand that that's something that can't be fixed. I work with the government and how budgets work. When we had that heat wave, my daughter had come off the bus sweaty, red faced, lethargic and overall fatigued. Superintendent Tyler says the buses have never had air conditioning. I know some people have said, why didn't you let us know buses aren't air conditioned? Well, buses have really never been air conditioned right. in this area. Edward felt communicating this could have been done differently. Putting out an email such as buses do not have AC, the heat index is 95 and above. The buses will operate, but please practice due diligence to keep your child safe. Tyler says it's an issue that's already been addressed and is in the process of being fixed for next year. If we're working on air conditioning our buses. Uh, John Wilson, our CSFO, is in the process of working with transportation. We should have a little bit over 100 buses next year, air conditioned. But and Tyler says it would be too expensive to go in and add air conditioning to the 400 plus buses they have. He says they will slowly begin pulling those buses outside of the school year. Live tonight in the studio, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.